Hello all, Sirius Lays here, back for some more finishing permadeath, and we're back on the Platinum Press base, and we're going to finish that off today. I've been putting it off because I've been trying, as you can see, there's some stuff up here. Oh, I deleted the upside down piece that made these upside down, that's okay, I'm getting rid of them. <laughs> I've been trying something. I wanted to raise this floor here up by exactly the width of a floor. Like if I were to go to a floor tile and if I were somehow able to place this on top of this one like that without it, uh, well, with it snapping but being this much taller. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> I, I know there's a way and uh, I wasn't able to figure it out myself so I'm going to have to do some research on it <clears throat> and I'll do that repair later. I'm going to delete this stuff for now. We don't need it. I have put in a landing pad. As you can see, there's been a lot of changes. I finished off the the, uh, the circle. I finished off all the walls. I started in on the roof. I put in the walkways to get up to the uh, base level. Again, the base computer is underneath here, right? And I'm not seeing a gap. Uh, at least I can't get the camera up high enough to see a gap. So that uh, amount that we didn't lower this floor by is perfect. It's touching. That's good enough for me. <laughs> All right, so uh, one thing here. These doors don't perfectly touch. If you look up, you can see a gap into the room. Uh, but the metal here that sticks out a bit also sticks out on this side and does merge with those walls. And the ceiling touches. I think it's a good enough of a gap. And on the inside, I've put some hollow doors just to fill up that extra space with. Uh, we might put some lights in here as well if they fit. We'll see. <laughs> but decoration is going to come later. Today I just want to get the, uh, the structure finished, the outside structure, and um, everything hooked up. <clears throat> well, I guess we'll also have to put in some uh, refiners, some large refiners should go in. Yeah, well, let's get started then. So, first things first, because I can't raise this floor up, the whole reason I wanted to was so that I could put in something upside down here <clears throat> and not have it floating off of the ceiling a little bit, but we're gonna have it floating off the ceiling and I will fix it later. Not a big deal. And it doesn't really matter which way I put this, but let's try to center it a little bit because the thing I'm putting on here is gonna be round anyway, so it doesn't matter if it is centered or not. That doesn't look perfectly straight. <laughs> I'm going to make this wire short because it's going to be hidden in the item. No, I can delete it after if I make it long. Yeah, that's a good idea. Straight enough. <clears throat> like I said, the item I'm putting in here is round. So it does not matter. Let's put, uh, oh, anything with a, an electrical connection. That'll work. Let's go. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't think I can build any of these items right now because the freighter isn't here, so I might have to summon in the freighter. Adornment? Is it adornment? No, these are all the statues. Oh yeah, there they are. <coughs> I can build zero. Okay, let's summon in the freighter. Uh, no, that's the right item. I want to go to there. That'll do. You can go right there. Now, in theory, I should be able to build those things. Let's take a peek. Yeah, I can build three. I gotta go farm some cytophosphate. Jeepers. <laughs> uh, okay, back into build camera. Let's pick a color for this thing. I would like the lights to be white. There we go, white lights. Now, and we're gonna do a blender glitch. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> From this switch here, well, this connection here, <clears throat> all the way up to that one that I drew that's upside down in the middle. And I connected the wire. Bad. Let's try again. And I did the wire again. Oops, don't want to report the base. <laughs> Wow, I'm getting that uh, getting that wire connected well today. Invalid 
position. That's better. I'm not connecting the wire now. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. I'm going to have to do all this again when I get that floor raised by one tile. All right. Eighteenth <clears throat> time is the charm. So let's get there. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm better than this. <laughs> I could try changing my angle. That might help me with my timing a bit. Let's do that. Just letting go of the keys, giving your fingers a relax is really what you're doing here when you're resetting the angle. You're not really doing any game mechanic breaking thing by changing the angle. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes you are, depending on which way you're trying to glitch a wire to a wire that has multiple connections. Changing your angle can help with that, but that's not what we're doing here. No, that didn't help at all, see? Still got that same old timing down pat. Ah, darn. Well, maybe we'll just deal with regular lighting in here for now. <laughs> but this stuff doesn't need to be powered. That's why I really like it, and it is super, super duper bright. Wow, I thought I let go super late there, and I didn't. There we go, finally got it in after all of that. I think it might have been the 18th try. Uh, you see what I mean? You can see that it's hovering. I can see the center of this floor tile still. Uh, so let's delete that wire, because it's showing. Ah, no! I <laughs> deleted the light. I have to do it all again. Okay, okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's go back into tech. Uh, that's centered enough for me. Let's make it a very short wire so it'll be hidden inside the item. It's going to make us need to get an angle like this. Now changing the angle will help. It will help me see which one is the center point. Oh, I had a wire connector right here. I didn't even need that solar panel. Uh, I think I should use that one, actually. Just because it's going to be directly lined up with that one there. All right, let's try this again. Uh, at least I should have gotten my cytophosphate back. Yes, I can still build three. Excellent. Okay, wire glitch, or blender glitch, whatever. Let's try this again. Nope. <laughs> I'm glad that didn't delete my uh, terminus. That's a pain to put back in. That was actually not easy to put in. <laughs> well, at least not centered like that. I could have put it in just on the floor anywhere, rotated randomly, but this is nice and centered with the door. That was a fun trick. <laughs> ah, gosh. I shouldn't have tried deleting that wire. I should have known better. This is why I usually do short wires, is to leave them in there. I should have known it was going to delete that item. I am on the item, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Because if you're not on the item, if you're down a menu, if I was down here... I wouldn't be able to glitch it. If I'm up here, I am, but I don't need to do any texture glitch glitching on this, so. Ah, God. We'll get it. We'll get it again. We only need to do it twice. <laughs> uh, three times. Three times, right? Because I have to delete this when I get the floor raised. Thank you. 
Ah, I was going to say it was getting better because I was getting on the far side of the glitch where I want to be so it doesn't draw the wire. But I can't get it tighter to the exact connection point without drawing the wire. Come on, fingers. You know this. You've done it a thousand times. Like 3,000 with all your failures. Ah. <laughs> And I'm starting to think maybe I should get some macros. I am on PC, just a little bit unfair to everyone else who can't. Although they have controllers and better timing on this anyway, so... There we go, got it. Haha. <laughs> Let's delete this, we do not need it anymore. Oh look, it didn't delete our light with it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, now, moment of truth. Can I delete this floor tile without deleting the light? Yes. Because <laughs> I don't want a floor tile for the roof. I would like uh, a roof for the roof. Let's go into structures. Basic. I'm going to use metal. Let's change our color. And roof is fastest this way. And does it snap? It does. Excellent. That gives us a little bit more of that continuing angle that I'm going for. And if you look, the, the stairwell sort of continues that angle to the roof as well. See? Voop. We've just got a bit of a balcony in the way. Yeah, I'm sort of liking how that looks. Let's finish getting that roof in. I'm going to probably have to move, so let's get down here now. Okay. Now, this is a bit tricky, getting all of these in. And I'm going to show you that trick before we hook up the uh, storage silos. Actually, I don't even know if we're going to get to the storage silos today. There's a lot of adjacency glitching needed to be done here, so uh, we can do a lot of failing on that as well. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I've got one of the things I need in here already, and it's been a hot minute since I was in here building this, so let me see if I can remember how to do this. I need to go from this piece here. Uh, 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 uh. All of these stairs are getting in the way. I might have to delete some of these stairs to finish these, but I don't think so. I think what I'm going to have to do, I think that's the perfect angle. I was going to rotate this to see which corner the, uh, the textured piece is. You see here on this piece where I'm highlighting all of these, this is a textured, a grippy piece. And I've got the grippy piece in the opposite, well, not the opposite corner, but a different corner here. And I'm pretty sure that's the correct corner to rotate over to the metal ramp. So let's put that in with an adjacency glitch now, hopefully. Yeah, look at that. It's the correct angle as well. Okay, so now, moment of truth is, can I snap in this floor still to that tile? I don't need this piece anymore. Let's not delete that light as we're deleting these pieces. That would be very helpful. Um, yes, I can. Perfect. Now I need to do adjacency glitch over to that. I need to put that one in, delete the adjacency glitched one in, and then make sure this is at the correct angle again. It, it is? It is. Okay. And do an adjacency glitch to the stairs again. Perfect. Let's get this glass floor in on that one right there. Yes, an adjacency glitch. I'm, I'm not going to jinx it by saying I'm doing good at this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, ah, eh, stay there. That's the correct angle. Yes. There we go. Let's take a peek at this corner and see how it looks. Okay, it's going to look a little bit like this all the way around, but we can't get a good view because we only did a quarter of it so far. Let's let, let's do some more. <laughs> While we got this, uh, let's try and get it. Uh, uh, there we go. I got to remember not to delete that light. I, I'm not paying enough attention. Oh. Okay, nope. Failed an adjacency glitch. There, see, I'm not good at adjacency glitching. Oh, two in a row. Can I stay at this angle and get that snap? No, I can't. That's annoying. There we go. Uh, 
<laughs> now my timing is failing me. Started off good. There we are. One more for this side. Where's the snap point? There we go. I am very glad that uh, deleting these when they're touching my teleporter like that doesn't delete the teleporter again. <laughs> very annoying to put in. All right, we're getting this done. Two more sides to go. Oh, that's a pretty good angle. I think if I can get this floor to draw, I cannot. There it is. But at least I don't have to move out of the way of the light to delete it if I fail. Good. I bet I can get two of these at a time. No, let, let's. We got this going on. Let's not screw things up. <laughs> Is that the right one? I think that's the right one. Interesting. Yeah, that looks to be it. that one in from here without moving? No. Okay. Didn't think so. There we go. One more side. One more corner to go. Right? Last one to go. Excellent. We're really nailing this. Look, I can go do that one without moving. Cool. And I can't do it, but I don't have to move. There we are. There we go. The roof is finished. Let's take a peek from in here. Oh, I really like that. Even with the square roof, I could have uh, figured out a way to... Actually, I think I still can. Maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can get this roof tile to be completely rotated around. Oh, if I can do that with the metal roof, that would be super cool. I think the only way to do it, do it with the metal roof, though, uh, isn't going to be through adjacency glitching. It's going to be through... Um, maybe. No. No, I don't think so. I, I would need to wire snap it. But I'm pretty happy with that from the outside as well. That looks really neat. Let's get a wide-angle look some of those rampways in there. Yeah, they they taper up nice to that roof. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. I'm not in camera mode, so I can't make this uh, daytime. <laughs> Fortunately, we wasted the daylight. But uh, let's take a walk around the balcony. Oh, you know what? I can show you how I put these in. That was a neat trick, and that's real simple. And uh, taking one out shouldn't ruin anything, so I'll show you how I put these in upside down. Nice, fun trick. Just adjacency glitching. Okay, let's delete uh, this middle one. And if we go to put that back in, basic metal, no, concrete. These parts are concrete. And it's this, nope, the other way. There we go. Uh, let's pick the color. It's on the right color, okay. If we go to put that in, oh, it will go upside down. Oh, it'll go upside down, snapping at an angle to those two. But if I want to snap it to this floor tile here, it will only go in upside right now. So what we do, get out of basic building, we go over to... Actually, no, we do want to be in basic building. Let's go back to there. And we want to put a floor in. One floor to space this one away. It could have been a glass floor, it doesn't matter. Now over here, we go to decoration, adornments all the way past these things to paver, which snaps to the sides, right? And we want adjacency to a cylinder. We want to go underneath a cylinder and we want to see how it rotates up and down there. We want to be on the downside and rotate back to a paver. Uh, no, was I not on the right side? I wasn't on the right side, probably. 
Okay, snap to there. Make sure it's the downward facing one like that. There we go. Now we have an upside down paver. Now we delete that and we delete that. And <clears throat> this trick is going to be a bit annoying. <laughs> We're going to have to do tw twice. We're going to have to rotate things twice. Manual rotation. So concrete, I would recommend using concrete. You can see the difference between the top of a concrete floor and the bottom very differently. So that's what a top of a concrete floor looks like. See, the green stated item. Now we hold down the alt, uh, alt, and where's alt? Why is it not working? There we go. Uh, we rotate manually. I'm using the D key to rotate it that way. And when we've got it pretty much level, we let go and we can see that it's snapping in upside down now. Uh, I deleted some terrain, I'm gonna have to fix that. I can now delete this paver, I don't need it anymore. And I can go over to the item we want, the concrete arch, and you can see it only snaps upside down to this piece. Even down here, it only snaps upside down. But here, where I want it, it still snaps upside right. And that's because of the roof piece and the floor piece on the uh, that it's also connecting to. So, hold down Alt again, hold down the D key again, rotate it till it's approximately upside down level. Doesn't need to be perfect, it can be on a bit of an angle. Let go, and it'll snap in upside down. Then you delete that floor tile. Oh, and the game automatically, automatically repairs the ground for us. Anyway, that's how I got those in. Now, now, let's focus on some storage silos. I don't think I'm gonna get them connected today because I'm gonna have to run back and forth to do it, but let's try to snap some of those in. How many can I build? I have one metal plating. I have seven metal plating, so I can build zero storage silos. Uh, and all my inventory is jam-packed. I have a lot of ferrite dust, so I can make metal plating. How many can I make? Probably not that much, actually. 50, maybe? I probably can't hold 50. Oh, I can make more than 50. 60. Yeah, that's just the slots. How much does 60 take? Uh, all of my ferrite dust. Like, almost literally all. In fact, yeah, I have nothing left in my high capacity now. So, I can only build three anyway on, uh, for each one. Okay. Well, I guess getting it set up, we only need enough to build uh, four, technically. So let's do that. Let's figure out where we want these to be. Um... So, the landing pad is over here. It's slightly buried in the terrain, which I wanted it to be. <laughs> I would have liked it to be fully buried in the terrain, so you just got to land on some dirt, but uh, the amount I needed to lower it made it unable to land, unfortunately. But that's fine, that's fine. So, I think I want the storage silos, despite the fact that one is coming from this direction behind the landing pad, and one is coming from directly in the opposite direction. I think I want them to be on the sides somewhere. So, maybe what I could do is put them in the corners. I know circles don't really have corners, but if you know what I mean, I can go a diagonal here and there on this window tile, right? And on that window tile, because that's the closest side that they're from is over behind this Tiberium growth over there. Um, that's a bit off center, you know, for centering things, but I think we'll work with that because otherwise I'm going to be blocking a doorway and I don't want to do that. Okay. So how am I going to mark these? That this is the tile I want to use. Or can I just snap stuff from here underneath? Uh, looks like I can. Let's do that. Let's see if that went where I wanted it to be. It did. So, here's how we're going to do this. How many concrete things can I build? <clears throat> not a lot. Maybe I should switch to metal. And first of all, let's delete this accidental placement. I did not need that. How many metal things can I build? Lots of metal. Ooh, really? I thought I used all my ferret dust. Where am I getting all this ferret? Oh, the freighter's in orbit. Haha. <laughs> Good. Okay, cool. Uh, let's keep on metal then. We're gonna go with metal. Now I can delete uh, this piece I drew. Yes, cool. And let's put one in like that on the other side as well. Eh, come on, let me back in door. There you go. Uh, it was this side, correct? Yeah, we'll do it with metal again. 
snap. And we'll go underneath. We'll put a floor. Ground's pretty level where I put my base computer. You see on both sides that this tile uh, is above gr the ground. This one's floating a little bit, but whatever. Okay, delete that. So, now I would like to place some short walls to build us back up a bit. And I probably could have just snapped a short wall underneath the floor tile I wanted. See, short walls do snap underneath floor tiles. But uh, getting the angle right, I find, is uh, sometimes a bit tricky. Oh, and it's not going to snap anyway. Oh, that's okay anyway. I don't need it to snap to the top. I can put a floor tile on the top of that short wall. So let's delete these two. I almost deleted some of my base over there. That was bad. Uh, let's put another wall, a floor in. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, they're over here, of course. Yes. Yes, snapped to the top, though. Okay. And we'll delete the short wall. And we'll do the same thing on this side. The long way around. Snap. 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 And this one won't go in. Right. Okay. Floor tile should be this way. Yep. To the top, please. Thank you. We can delete the short wall. Okay, okay. Now, I need to do one tricky, really tricky wire glitch. Uh, and I do not know exactly where to center it. Let's take a peek inside this room. How much does this floor come in? Uh, this floor here. Only about that much space, so I need to center it on... That's the edge of the tile right there. Okay, it's going to move in a little bit from our adjacency glitch, I think. So let's do that. Now, I'm going to draw it right about there on that connector. Okay. Go to tech. This is not going to be perfectly centered. It's hard to get your camera in here with a good view of that line way over where we want it. Maybe I should start on that side, but I doubt I can get an even better angle because of the roof here. I, I can't. I'm tempted to try to delete that floor tile and put it back in after. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Just to get this wire where I want it, uh, we'll make it out of concrete so we remember to put things back in on concrete and we can stay on the concrete floor tile. Hey, it's snapping in upside right the way I would like it to. That's great. Let's delete this floor tile. Hope it doesn't take the uh, wall with it. It does not. Excellent. Perfect. And now I can see this. I can even get a view from inside exactly where I want it to be. Let's get one of these in, and I'll show you how. If I switch over to wire now... should light up. No, it's not lighting up for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was actually a good connector point, uh, this thing here. This little bulge, that's where I want it to be. Okay, so wire. Uh, I do want this to be straight. But I don't mind if it's long, so I can delete it after, because uh, even if it deletes the thing I'm drawing, that's fine. Yeah, that's straight enough. Okay, now, um, now I need to put the floor back in before I do anything else, because it will not go back in after. Uh, structure, basic, concrete. Oh, that's not going to snap in. That's right. That's right. I do need to delete that wall. Oh, what a pain this has been. means I will also need to delete this. Yeah, okay, and I want, sure, a doorway will work. That's fine. To this point here, please. And then I want this right there. There, the floor tile is back in. I can delete the door. I have to 
do that trick I showed you to get that uh, guardrail back in, but that's okay, I'll do that after. I wanna get everything right back where it was, and then I can do this glitch. Large room? Yeah, large room. Uh-oh, where's my, where's my snap point on the floor tile I want? Why is it not there? Uh, do I need to delete the roof too? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's not too hard to put back in. This has been a right pain. This has taken way longer than I expected. Where are we? Here we are. Uh, yeah, I do want to keep that floor tile in for now to get the uh, upside down thing back in. But up here, I want to be in basic, concrete. Nope. There we go. Uh, no, I didn't even want to do that. I just need a regular floor tile here. I need to do the agency glitch like that after the fact. Okay. Delete that. Go back to large. Go back to ladder. And that wasn't the problem. What's the problem? Why don't... Oh, there it is. I had it for a second. But it was red stated. See, I can snap it into a floor here. No problem. What is going on? Okay. I didn't make an autosave. I would have to do everything all over again. <laughs> well, the, here's a lesson for everyone. Make frequent autosaves when you're doing a base build like this, because getting stuff back in can be tricky. Uh, I can just get up to there from there. Why can't I get this to snap? What is happening here? Can, I wonder if it's an angle thing. No, there's something blocking it. Is there, is it the thing underneath? It's probably the thing underneath. I've got the wire drawn, right? No, that's not it either. Is it just being, uh, leaving the build menu? No, I think I've already left the build menu and come back into it. No, that's not gonna be the problem. Oh, did I see it? No, I don't see the, uh, Look, I can even put them in here still. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Uh, them's the brakes. I'll fix this. I'll figure out how I fixed the, how I messed this up. If I have to make a reload and do all the roof again, I will. We'll come back next time and we'll take a peek and I'll show you how to get that connector in with the wire that I've put in. Uh, sorry that I didn't finish it this time, but uh, we got the base mostly done. The structure was done until I ruined it. <laughs> all right, well, until next time, everyone. Have a good time.